Okay, so as I said, I sent you an email regarding your exercises. All right, yeah, two exercises on Microsoft Word. Okay, so let us first uh, open a Microsoft Word. Yeah, okay. Now, of course, application that we're this, this is module BK applications is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. So they have similarities. What are these similarities? I think even you, you can find it out. Uh, of course, all of these features, the zoom, uh, the scroll bars vertical and then if they sometimes it has a uh, horizontal uh, scroll bars you have rulers here okay and you have this on the top okay what's this on the top it's called ribbon okay okay this ribbon has three parts the first part is called tab, okay? So you have home tab, insert tab, design tab, layout tab, references tab. I think uh, you're familiar with this term because you're seeing it on your web browser. If you have opened a web browser on a desktop and then you want to add another uh, page, uh, it's actually called tab already. So you can open another one and open another one and open another one. Okay, so it's like this. You're shifting to another tab, to another tab, and you're in here. Okay, so this is what you're doing. Okay, part of the tab, or the tab is composed of what we call groups. Okay, so in each tab, this is the home tab, of course. Okay, you have a clipboard group. You have a font group. You have a paragraph group. You have a styles, editing, and so on. The rest, I'm, I think, I'm not sure if you have these groups. Go to insert. You have tables, illustration, add-ins, comments, header and footer, text, design document formatting so you have groups in each tab okay and the next one is in each group you have ends. okay so you have tabs groups and commands in each group the fourth group has the Try through, subscript, superscript, and so on. Okay, so those are the groups, uh, the commands in each group. When you say command, when you click that, it will do something particularly to your editing or whatever you want on your document. In Excel also, it's the same. It's in PowerPoint, it's the same, and so on and so forth. Okay, these are the common elements of these applications. Okay, of course, you know how to close this. Okay, you know how to close the application by clicking the X. You know how to save by clicking this or go file, save, save as. What's the difference? Save is you're saving the file on the same location. Save as if you want to rename it or you want to save it on another location. So these are the things. Print, of course, you need to know how to print. And the others are the collaboration, the share button. Okay, so you will learn that later on on your practices. Right now, you have to do the first and the second exercise that I asked you to do. 
open your laptop, open na, na uh, a Microsoft Word, and do this exercise. Okay, so you have to open a file and save it first with this WEX1. Okay, open a document, I mean the w, blank document, and then once it's open, save as, immediately save it as, save it as WEX1 minus your name, full name first, please, not your first name or your second name only. First name and the, the last name, like how I can see you on the participants. Ayman al Zajali, al Zahara al Bari, Ala al Rahabi, uh, Amna al Balushi. So that is what I mean by full name. Okay, not the four names. I don't need the four names, just the first name and the, the last name. Plus your student ID number. Okay, so that's how you should rename your file. Okay, I will uh, expect you to do that also in the succeeding exercises. Okay, so here, just to make it clear, write the sentence in the document, the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Okay, some of you will quickly notice that this is spelled incorrectly. Okay, so wrongly spelled and you just leave it okay don't do anything then copy and paste the same sentence in the next five lines you have this the quick brown facts over the lazy dog then you have first line second line third line fourth line fifth line so you have to copy five times that doesn't mean that i need five lines only that means you copied five times so you can see here, apply the following formatting and so on and so forth. So open your Geotech email, as I said, and do this. I'll give you 15 minutes from now. And then 11.40, we're going to come back. Is there when we finish, do we send it to you? No, no, don't do anything. Just do this. Okay, just do this as fast as you can. No sending first, no folder first. Okay, for now, just save it on your laptop. Or if you want, you can save it or send it to your email so that it will not be lost. So for example, like this. Okay, so do this and we'll come back. I'll stop recording for